This is a behind the scenes case study and step-by-step -step walkthrough of how we instantly increased the average order value of this Shopify store, dailyorders.com.au by $13 while boosting their lifetime value and without using discounts. <sighs> Crazy, right? This is a new strategy I've never seen anywhere else other than big stores that are starting to test this offer that can afford expensive developers. This test was completely inspired by a Twitter post that I saw from conversion rate optimization expert, Harry, who's one of the co-founders of Direct-to-Consumer Pages. Harry is one of the epic legends in the conversion rate optimization space. He works with seven and eight figure brands that you will know. Here's the good news. I figured out a new way to run tests without paying for custom development and it works so well. And here are the real stats from daily orders. So as you can see here, I've got last month up. So it's September 2023 right now. Uh, they The average order value size was $221. And for the previous month, it was $208. So that's a $13 increase. I did not think this test would actually get those kind of results. Now, what exactly did we do? It was super simple. Check this out. It, all we did was incentivize customers within the slide cart to add more to cart to unlock credits. I want to show you exactly how it works right now. When you add a cart on this store, this beautiful cart appears, but here is the kicker up here. So add eight dollars to get ten dollars credit now it's super simple for me to add extra money to this store to unlock that credit and you can see it here unlock ten dollars credit done add an extra 79.70 to unlock the next amount of credit this simple little nudge and push was able to increase the revenue instantly on this shopify store you have to give it a try here's a quick glimpse of what's been set up in the back end for this cart as you can see here there's tons of different campaigns that they've been running and then this is the one that we've been testing over the last month okay so add 175 dollars to get ten dollars credit Boom, it works so well. You got this one here that's working really well with it too, the shipping protection option. Uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to set up all of these today, but you can see there's tons of different ways that you can run offers using this cart on your store. Here's why it works. One, customers perceive credit as real money. They feel like they're missing out if they don't unlock something. And when they do, they feel a sense of ownership, like that's their money and they have to check out to get that money. And two, it encourages loyalty and returns customers to the store to actually spend those credits that they've unlocked. And the crazy kicker is number three, you're not using discounts to actually incentivize customers to add more to the cart. It just feels organic, it feels natural. Now, what is a store credit? When you, when you run a loyalty reward, now, what is a store credit quickly? When you run a loyalty reward program on your store, you give customers points for spending dollars. Customers can then trade those points for credits. And what we did was communicated those credits that they actually can trade the points for. Now, how do you run this on your store? One, you need to create a credit reward system if you haven't already. There's a few different apps that can do this. Smile Loyalty Rewards is the one that I've used and I'm most familiar with it. It works with what we've got right now. Number two, you wanna communicate the credits a customer can unlock with the reward program that you have using progress bars in your cart. Something like this here. You got an easy way to do this and hard way to do this. The hard way is to custom code it and pay someone to do it. It's a bit expensive. The easy way is you can just use our app Monster Cart Upsells to communicate it. I'm going to show you step by step how to use these two apps to set this system up and get it running on your store. But first, who am I? I'm Ty, also known as Shopify to all of my e-commerce nerd friends. <laughs> I've been in e-commerce for the past six plus years. The last thing I did was helped Eco Modern Essentials, a Shopify Plus brand, scale up to $10 million per year. I was their digital marketing strategist. I was basically in charge of everything kind of digital growth wise. I did media buying, conversion rate optimization, tech research, Search, product and offer creation and acquisition and retention strategy. Wahoo! It was just crazy, crazy times. That was super fun. And now what I do, I am the co-founder of Monster Apps. We help Shopify stores scale faster with Shopify apps that boost revenue and look amazing. 4,000 plus brands that work with us now, tons of stars and everything like that. Enough about that right now. I want to show you guys how to set this up in your store. Once you are set up your smile.io, it's all downloaded. You've done your branding, your colors and your basics and things like that. Your emails are set up with your right communication. So it sounds like you and not someone else. Else, uh, you want to navigate over to the points section and set up place and order. So you click on add ways to earn and then select place and order. Then you want to take note of the settings that I've got set up here. So increments of points and then five points for every $1 spent. Now this is actually the behind the scenes of daily orders and their actual setup. So they decided to do five points for every $1 spent. So a customer feels happy that they got tons of points for every dollar that they spent. They've got like a multiplier here. So if they spend $10, they get 50 points, which is pretty awesome. The only thing is, is sometimes that can be complicated for customers. I like to make it really simple. Uh, to me, $1 spent gets you one point is kind of the easiest way to work with, but five points, Still works, I probably wouldn't go any more than five points. Just set it up simple, and once you're happy with everything, click on save. The next thing you wanna do is go back to the point section, and you wanna come down to this redeem points area here, and click on add ways to redeem. I'm gonna focus on the $5 off coupon. You can set up a $5 off coupon, a $10, $15, and $20 coupon right here. We chose fixed amounts of points, and then we've got 500 points, gets us a $5 discount, okay? Uh, and this is off the entire order, and then we've set up a minimum purchase amount. This is great, because it's gonna force customers to actually add a certain amount of money 
money to their order to actually use this $5 coupon as well. That's gonna further increase the average order value of the customer when they come back to spend their coupon value. Everything else, you just wanna keep it really simple, but something to note is this point here. So 500 points gets you a $5 coupon. This is where it gets a little bit complicated because if you were just one point equals a $1 coupon, that's simple for a customer to comprehend, but 500 points being a $5 coupon is kind of confusing. So you kind of need to do the maths in the back of your head and find out how much a customer is going to have to spend to get those 500 points. So when a customer spends $1, they're gonna get five points. When they spend $100, they're gonna get 500 points, which gets them a $5 coupon. $200, 1,000 points, $10 coupon, 300, 1500 points, $15 coupon, 400, 2000 points, $20 coupon. You're going to use these spend amounts later when you go to set up your in cart upsells with the progress bars and everything like that. To recap, we've set up the point system and we've set up the reward system. The next thing we're going to do is set up the progress bar within the cart. Now I'm going to navigate over to the Monster Cart Upsells app and basically once you've set up your cart to make it look like it's really nice for your branding and everything like that, you just go to cart set up here. It's really simple. I'm not going to explain how to do it. It's just super easy to set up. Then you want to go to the upsell campaign section and this is where the magic is going to happen. You can see all these campaigns that have been running and they've already got tons of awesome results there. But this is the main one that we're going to look at now. And these are the actual settings of it. Uh, they've come through here, they've selected the campaign type. So this is an add to unlock offer up the top here. They've gone to trigger on every single product on their store. And then they've got this dollar amount in cart. Then they've navigated down here to make a manual reward. So this is where they are communicating their $10 credit and their spend goal being $200, okay? So if you can remember, when we went over here, you can see here's $200 spend gets you a $10 coupon. I like to call it credit rather than coupon. I just feel like credit sounds better. Make sure that you've set up the text before hitting and the text text after hitting. There's a lot of different little options there. You can just copy what I've got here, take note of it all. Then we're going to set up reward too. And to set up extra rewards, you've got this little button here. So you add another reward. It's really simple to do. I'm not going to show you all the different settings, but you can just see here what I've already written. So just copy everything. So 300 is the next spend goal. Here we go. Uh, and that gets you the $15 coupon. Now, Something to note is that we actually skip this first one here. So the $100 gets you $5 coupon. The reason being is because the average order value of this store was already $200. So I didn't feel the need to actually communicate this first one here. I wanted to communicate straight away that we're looking at $10, $15, and $20, because this is already sitting at a $200 value as an average order value for this store. Now, if uh, as we come through, we've just set up three different rewards, and that is the most that I like to set up and that I suggest. Once you crowd this out a little bit too much, customers just kind of get confused, and this is a bit too much going on in the store. The other thing you want to do is go down to this frequently bought together section here. And what you can do is actually select products that you want to suggest to customers that they add to their cart to unlock these rewards that you've set up at the top. Uh, I like to set up Shopify recommendations on stores that have a ridiculous amount of SKUs. But if you have a smaller amount of SKUs, what you want to do is reselect the main products that customers add uh, to their cart. And that's how you're going to get the most value added to unlock these rewards. Uh, once we're happy with everything here, you just want to click save. To recap, you want to set up a loyalty reward system. And then two, you want to communicate that loyalty reward system rewards within your cart, incentivizing customers to add more to their cart. And you also want to make sure that you're incentivizing them by adding the rewards a little bit higher than the average order value that's on your store already. This will make the customers add even more to their cart. The great thing as well is that customers are going to have to come back to actually use those credits that they've unlocked. Go set this up and boost your store revenue. Shopify out.